Welcome to the musical pit! Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nene. Excuse the hat. It's quarantine and my hair is... yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys are good. So, as you've probably seen in the title, today we are talking about My Mount View Audition Recall Part 3. Here we go! <laughs> Needless to say that if you've not seen Part 1 or Part 2, it's not going to make much sense. Go and watch Part 1 and Part 2. Because I'm picking up from there. Go and do it. It's down below. Right, so part three. So I got in at the school at around 10 o'clock, slightly later, which was needed because after the Saturday, I was absolutely knackered. I was so tired. And this was literally the next day, Sunday. So I was like, needed that extra hour of gazoosh, you know? So again, um, signed in um, at the desk. They gave us a little tag with a number and name. And then we got escorted to one of the studios. And as I said earlier, there was about 85 at this recall. And everyone that was in that room was either on the course for sure or on the reserve. And there was 85 people. And they said they wanted a year of about 60 people. So you do the math. Because I do musical theatre. So got in. We didn't know what we were going to do. So I bought everything just in case. But the head of Mount View, as well as the head of musical theatre, and the head of dance, and the head of singing, and the head of acting, and the head of music, because yes, that's two different people, came to us and they said, listen guys, today is super chill, whatever happens, you're on the reserve anyway, so big round of applause to you all, you know, big morale. And he said, today is a bit of a taste of what it is to be a Mount View student, which I thought was really cool. Um, so he gave us a sort of timetable. Um, again, we got split into groups, I think only into four groups, and um, again, went into a sort of carousel motion. And so we had speech and voice, we had an acting lesson, we had a dancing lesson and a singing lesson, but it was all super chill, super nice. And he said, don't worry, you're all in the reserve, and that's such an achievement because we do audition about 2,000 people, so well done. And it was actually really sweet because, you know, they auditioned nationally. So there was people from all over the place, um, as well as people, in, as well as international people. There was a French girl. There was a guy from uh, Mexico. There was a guy from Argentina. There was a guy from China. You know, they came from all over the place, which was super, super cool, super nice. So my very first lesson was an acting workshop, which was so, so good. It was so clever. So what they did is we came in, um, they talked to us, relaxed. We played a very quick game and then sat down and they handed out this sheet. And what it was is it was lines, basically, with some initials at the front, which was actually from a play that I'd seen before at Art Said, but I didn't recognise it because one, you know, it's, it's, it was literally a play that I'd seen a year prior to. Two, it was a snippet of it. And three, the names of the character were hidden. And we actually had to do some text um, and analysis, which was so clever because you do this all the time. Um, so they wanted us to be, they wanted us to read it a few times. And then they wanted us to find out as many details about it. So obviously who, what, where, when, um, the big questions. Who was involved? What were the relationships between people? When was it set? What is the casting bracket? All of those questions and we had to write it down. We had to talk about it amongst our group. And then finally, we had to give a small performance of it, which was really cool. And, you know, very relaxed. Obviously, we, don't, we didn't know the lines. that It was literally given to us at the beginning of the class. So we were reading it there and then. And what was super nice is to see different people's inter interpretation of the text. And to put it into musical theatre context, you know when Elwood is talking to Warner and um, to Cunningham? Well, imagine getting that text and instead of Elwood you just see an E and then instead of Cunningham, you just see a C and instead of Warner, you just see W. So, you know, you, it could be Wendy, it could be Warner, it could be Walt Disney. You don't know who it is um, and therefore you don't know the gender, you don't know their age. So you really have to get stuck, get into it. Some people had certain characters as women, some characters, some people had certain characters as an older an older gentleman, so it was just really nice to see different people's interpretation. I was very lucky to be in a very good intellectual group. So for example, one of the lines said something like, Well, she ain't no Florence Nightingale. Obviously, Florence Nightingale being a pioneer in a modern day nursery. Jesus, I forgot to conclude. The point is, we were able to input some valuable information. However, it was clear that the key in this exercise was participation and working as a company. <laughs> After that, we were taken into a different studio and we did a dance a class. Now, the dance class, they were like, we don't really need to audition you for dance. 
and they did tell us in advance as well don't bring any dance gear because you won't be needing it i did um just because you never know but do bring stuff that you can move and you're comfortable in so i was in my com i didn't move i didn't get changed into my dance gear because i was like you know whatever so it was more of a movement class and to see how you moved and how we interacted with each other. It was very theatre movement dance as opposed to dance dance, do you know what I mean? I wasn't sweating buckets as I usually do. So that was super chill, was super nice. Then we stayed in the same studio where the singing panel then came in to do their audition. But we had like a 10 minute break between the two anyway, so it was, it was you know, it wasn't like full on. So they did a big vocal warm up with everyone, which was actually so, so lovely because I needed it. I hadn't sung that day yet. Um, even though the acting did get us, you know, moving and using our voices in a in a more vocal in a more vocal technical way, I still needed my Bella Signora. And then they proceed us to teach us. This is me from The Greatest Showman. Now, at the time, I didn't know the song, and I've still never seen The Greatest Showman. I know I'm a disgrace to the musical pit. So what they did is they taught us two solo lines and they taught us two ensemble lines which were basically split boy girl um so what happened is we were all in like a big semicircle facing the panel and the piano and we had to go two by two so that he'd literally choose two random people and we'd go in the middle and we'd have to sing that song and then the ensemble would singing for the other bits which was really lovely actually i just thought yeah that's that that's such a good way to audition and what they were looking for is chemistry and acting more than singing because they did say to us we know that you can sing this may be in your own key this may not you know you may not know that song so it's not that's not what we're looking for we know that you can sing if you've made it up to here we're looking for your chemistry for your ability to work with different people and most importantly for your acting through song <gasps> Right after that, my specific group was put on break because, mind you, all of those lessons are about an hour, to, an, are an hour to an hour and a half. So, you know, they took a while and I was starving by then. So we took a half an hour break and it was nice because we got to mingle with other groups, talk with other people. We were in the cafeteria, so it was really cool, really nice. And then we were escorted to the last class of the day. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, I can't really reveal what was in there just because they told us not to. Um, but it was amazing. It was basically an immersive experience. And um, you were, I um, don't want to ruin too much, but you were given a situation, a scenario and a character. And you had to act as that character for an hour and a half. And we were encouraged to leave the room, go up and down, come back in. And it was led by the head of acting, who is a genius. Um... I only met him that one time, but I was just like blown away. And he really reminds me, and the, he'd probably hate that, but he really reminds me of the head of acting at Art Set. And I think they, they were mates. Um, so, you know, only one's Australian and he's English, but they're, they're very similar in their approach. I really, really loved the way Malview had their acting audition. I just thought it was so innovative. It was just so, so intelligent. It was like, yeah, that's, that's, I definitely want to come there after doing that. And acting wasn't like my strongest suit either. So it was just, it was, yeah, it just put everything together. After that, I was kind of emotionally drained. I was just like, wow, that was a lot. Um, but we were taken back into the main room. Uh, and again, because the panel were deliberating and choosing everyone, we had a QA and a with the current students, which wasn't that long because by then there was only 85. And I guess it was easier for the panel to make the decision by now because they knew us a bit more, I suppose. But yeah, they don't tell you there and then whether you're in or whether you're on the reserve. They call you literally within that next week. I got an email um, personally saying that I was on the reserve. I was like, do you know what? I'm super proud of myself. I got through three rounds and I got on the reserve at Mount View, literally from 2,000 people to the last 85. So I did super well. I was like... And now all I need to do is find out who's on the course that's in my casting bracket and um, how to kill them. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please do comment. If you've got any questions, please do comment. If you hate me, please do. Here's my Instagram. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. And I love you. Meow.